right, we're still working with our Connect Four game, and we want to alternate between the red player, which has a one chip, and the yellow player, which has a two chip, um, or just a two represents that that yellow chip on the board. And I set my board back to a six rows and seven columns of all zeros so it's starting out as an empty board and i've got a, con a function win which i'm going to fill in later but at, for right now we're going to say nobody has won so i'll return false from that so i'm going to start out and player the red player normally starts first or at least the way this is programmed that's what's happening is we're going to start with the red player and while nobody's won, which no one's won yet. We're gonna ask the user where they want to go, which column, and we will fill in that column with that player's um, piece, either the one or the two. And then I'm gonna print the board, and if my player was a player one, I'm gonna switch it to player two, and if it was player two, I'm gonna switch it back to player one. So yeah, zero means you don't have a anything in that spot in the board one means it's the red checker and two means it's the, the yellow checker um, so let's go ahead and run this and try it out and nobody will be able to win but we can just debug and see is it working are we able to put in these legal moves anything that's a legal move um, for where we want to put our yellow or our red checker piece. Um, that all looks very good. I'm going to have to hit control C though to stop that because I'm in an infinite loop. And now I have to write the function to check whether or not I've won. So one thing that bothered me with the input statement is I didn't, I don't like typing right next to something. So I'm going to put a colon and a space there. And then there's more than one way to win with um, connect for. So I'm going to check all the possible ways and I'll make a function for each way to win. So if there's a horizontal win or if there's a vertical win or if there's a diagonal win, then the answer to this question is yes somebody has one so we'll, we're going to return true and so now i have to write three functions and then we'll be done the first function is there a horizontal win and just for now i'm going to start out saying there's not until we add the code so we'll say false on that i could copy and paste this function two more times and then we'll end up filling all these in with legal code, but just for right now, I've got a placeholder for what we're going to fill in. And let's run this and make sure that that still works and still nobody's going to win, but we can try typing in. I want to go and call them. Oh, I, if you type in nothing, it's going to break. So we could use some error handling too. Also, if somebody put in a negative number or a number that's bigger than seven, you would want to not crash with an ugly red error message you would want to have some error handling. So I'm going to keep going until I'm confident that this program works so far. And now we need to fill in the horizontal win, vertical win, and the diagonal win.